Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use some of our new small stencils. So in this release we've got the heart stencil, the short rectangle, the diamond and the hexagon. And with each of these stencils here you get the negative shape and you get the matching positive shape. So you can use them in a lot of different ways and I'm just going to show you a couple of different ways that they can be used. So I've got a couple of samples here that I've done before. So this one here is using the heart stencil and this is using the negative part of that stencil which is this one and I'll show you how we can sponge through that but I'm going to show you using the hexagon just for something different so I'll just use this one here so I'm just using some distress ink and I'm just using an ink blending tool with some foam and I'm just going to place it here onto my cardstock I'm just sponging directly into a, uh, a dialogue journal so this is one of the um, nice little journals here that you can use for your travels or for your diaries or anything like that and it's got the nice mixed media cardstock inside the journal but it doesn't matter what cardstock you're basically sponging onto you can just use um, any type of regular cardstock but this mixed media card it just takes these inks really nicely so i'm just sponging there that's just a simple hexagon shape and I just want to change now to a different colour just to add some interest. And the good thing about the hexagon stencil is it can be tiled up to create a pattern. So if we want to go above right here and then just using a different colour sponging around that. And you can see how quick and easy it is just to fill in these shapes. So this is just showing you how you can sponge inside. Now, if you also wanted to stamp inside of that, you could, and you just use the stencil as a mask and then stamp over the top. So if I lift that up, you can see there now how we're starting to create our pattern. So if I wanted to then sponge it this way, you can line up and you can see through the stencil where you've sponged before. So it's nice and easy to line it up. I'm just using a little um, border around each hexagon, but you can make them go right up against each other if you wanted to. So I'm just doing the same colour here that I did on the other one. Just doing this a bit quick and easy. Okay. There we go. So you can see now how I could actually cover that entire page. You can just change colours make it easy now with the little mini distress inks I just have a little foam that I pop into the back of that and store that in there and then you can put those back in your little tins so I'll grab another color we'll go for an orange this time so I just pick out the foam now it's on my little tool there and then sponge around so I'll just get that hexagon here again and quickly sponge through this one this is just to show you the different colors and how good it looks there and even with doing the one color if you wanted to make some shading so then what you could do is after I do this orange I could go ahead and get like a darker orange and go around the edges or just from one side if you wanted to do like a you know a shadow and a highlight effect so you can see they're still tiling that up and it doesn't matter if you lift off your stencil if you want to go back and do more shading because you can always put your stencil back on and uh, match it up where it is. So I'll just show you with the shading. I've just got a darker um, colour of the orange. Whoops, my little foam came off there. So you can just place that back on. And if you just want to do some shading around the edges see how you can just get that in there and then that just gives you like a darker edge around your hexagon so then you could do the same with these other ones as well so that's just one way of sponging just through that negative shape now what happens if you want to use the positive shape and I'll just flip to a different page here just to show you so if you want the positive shape and you still want to sponge around it you can make a nice little halo effect 
by starting from the middle and then just flicking out the blending tool. And you can twist your paper around if it's easier. And it doesn't matter how dark or light you go, that just depends on what sort of effect you want. So you can go around here and then you get that nice effect. Now here's one that I've done with the hearts and you can do several different ones in different colors. And then to get that little black line, all I've done with that is we'll get our original hexagon, which is, where is it, here. And with a Sharpie or just a little thin pen, just place your stencil <clears throat> inside there. Whoops. Oh, can I see where I'm going there? There we go. And then just tracing around the stencil shape. So I do it perfectly the first time. And then the second time, I'll just do it whimsically a bit. So you can see there I'm deliberately going in with the pen. And I'll do that two or three different times. So then that just gives that a sort of real handmade or hand-drawn. So effectively, it looks hand-drawn but it's been used with the stencil. And I've done the same there with the hearts, but just doing it again on the inside of that one, and then with the hearts with this one. So there's just a couple of different ways you can use you know, the different shapes. And just to talk about the other different shapes, let me see if I've got some other ones. This one's the diamond. So that's the diamond shape there. Again, I've just tiled that one up and I've just done two different colors. So I've done it first here with the crushed olive distress ink and then shaded with one of the darker green inks just from the top. And that just gives it a really nice sort of more of a 3D effect rather than just a flat effect. And again, just traced around the edges. Now, what would look really cool inside here is if you went ahead and you did some drawings or you did some stamping inside, you could do some Zentangle anything like that would work really well there's some hearts just different colors again just sponged in and drawn around that makes it really easy uh, let's see if i've got some other ones in here i think i've got some other ones up the front maybe maybe not no it looks like that's the only ones i've got there they're probably up towards the back a bit maybe let's have a look here we are so there there's another one where i haven't drawn in and i've just left it nice and soft just with that ink sponging. So that's just a couple of different ways. The other thing you can do, this is one of our earlier uh, shape stencils. So this is the circle. So I've again, just put the circle stencil over the top, sponged on the inside. And then I've used another, this is our fern stencil, and then sponged that on the inside of that. So I can just quickly show you how I've done that. So I'll just use this hexagon and I'll just grab one of my other stencils. So with all of our small stencils, they all fit inside one of our storage cases. So you can buy the storage case separately, just with nothing in it. And then I just store them all in here. So then you can see here, I've got my ovals and my rectangles and everything like that. So here's that little fern stencil. And if I want to sponge inside one of these hexagons, I've just got to find the hexagon stencil. And I'll get a, um, we'll go with the darker green here. We'll go with this one here. Just again, getting that down there. So what you'll do is you'll put your hexagon stencil on there and then you'll place the other stencil on top. I'll use this, this shape here. And then you just wanna be gentle when you're doing this. And I just twist. Instead of like rubbing like this, you just want to do the twist. So similar twist. And you can see here how the stencil's not covering the entire hexagon. So you just want to be very careful in where you sponge. Otherwise, if you were at home, just get some post-it notes and cover that area up and then you'll be a bit safer when you do the sponging. But you can see there, once you lift off that, once you lift off that stencil, now you have that fern inside that shape and that's how you can get those little effects and you can just make a nice little simple greeting card yes we are so 
Um, these are just a couple of ideas, so hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you are at Paperific, come along and see some more demos. Um, otherwise, keep watching us on YouTube or Facebook and we'll keep sharing some ideas. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.